Movie Review, Taken 2, starring Liam Neeson, Maggie Grace, who, by the way, they do a pretty good job of making this really hot-looking woman look kind of gangly and nerdy. Then again, she is supposedly supposed to be playing a 15, 16, 7, 16 year old girl, whatever. So anyway, if you've seen Taken 1, you're probably pumped up for this movie, which I was too. From the previews of this movie, the theatric trailer, I thought, this movie's going to be great. However, my greatness that I anticipated quickly turned downhill. It wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't a great movie. Hey, look, I had to fast forward through most of the action at the end, you know, the fight scenes, because you see one fight sequence, you're basically seeing them all. Bottom line is, Lenora, whatever that guy's name is, Liam Neeson's wife, ex-wife, is getting a divorce from that rich, fat slob with all the money in the prior movie, and she's like, <laughs> real downtrodden and real sad, and it basically looks like these two are going to reconcile, and it's going to be one big happy life. So what happens is they go, uh, what's his name, Liam Neeson, whatever his character's name is, we'll say the fucking terrorist, American Beast, he goes on a fucking work detail over there in Tripoli, or wherever the hell this country is, and he invites his ex-wife and his daughter to join because his ex-wife's ex-husband or husband at the time, at the time, was supposed to go on some kind of trip to, ride, to try to reconcile their relationship and he backed out and she was <laughs> So anyway, it looks like they're getting back together and by, for all intents and purposes, they are. They're in Tripoli. I don't know why you'd go to Tripoli anyway. From what I've seen, it looked like that fucking favela map on Call of Duty, whatever. So they go there, it looks like they're going to have a good time. And then guess what? Terror ensues. You know the old story. Kidnapped the, the wife, the daughter, this and that. It was so far-fetched, this and that. And then, the funny thing about it is, his daughter, who was basically like a fucking a tart in, this, in the first movie, no common sense, whatever, she became a trained CIA terrorist for um, Liam Neeson in this movie. He basically, she basically, basically saved his life at one point in this movie. Basically just from, you gotta, it was, it was just stupid. It was stupid. But the movie isn't bad. I'm not going to sit there and tell you it was bad. It just was nowhere. And I mean nowhere near the first one. Nowhere near the first one. Like I said, you see one fight sequence, you're seeing them all. In fact, I believe they drug out the uh, fight sequences just to add length to this movie to make it a little longer, to be honest with you. Because I've never thought I would fast forward through the movie. But I did. So if you're looking for taking one type of drama, good movie, you're not going to get that. But you will get entertainment. You will get some joy out of it. If you're into that, uh, you know, martial, not martial arts, but the fighting scenes, is that, oh, you'll love it. But like I said, I, I want something that's got some substance to it. This movie was just nowhere near as good as taking one. And at the end, I won't even, I'm not going to give a spoiler out, but, you know, predictable. Predictable in every facet, this and that, and whatever. And bottom line is, I fast forwarded through the movie. And when you fast forward through a movie, you either got a very A, short attention span, which I do, or B, the movie just isn't what it was cracked up to be. And it was B. The movie wasn't cracked up what it was supposed to be. Like I said, the last 20 minutes was basically a fight scene. And I'm like, or last 20 minutes, and I'm like, I mean, it was just bad, whatever. So that's my uh, synopsis on Taken 2. But uh, if you all don't know who Maggie Grace is, and you see that girl in that movie, whatever, she's kind of gangly and nasty looking, go watch, uh, what movie was it, Faster, with her in it. She's fine. And she, I think she's like 21 years old, whatever. But she's fine. She's got blonde hair in that movie, this and that. But in this movie, yeah, they make her look like a 12-year-old, 16, whatever the fuck it is. Curly hair. And I don't know if it's me, but she, when she was running in that movie, she looked so goddamn uncoordinated, man. It was just weird. I don't know. But anyway, Liam Neeson, you're still a good actor. But let's just kill off to the makers of Taken. Let's finally kill off the Taken 2 character. Because, I mean, what you did with it is just horrible. You would think you'd have a better storyline and plot. That was too, how should we put this, predictability. That's it. That's it for my review. If you want more reviews on movies, let me know. Because I could give you a fucking review a day on a movie. Because I've seen a lot of movies. You know what movie looks good? Broken City with Russell Crowe and uh, Mark Wahlberg. That looks good. I've seen a preview for it. I believe it comes out April 30th on DVD. Which I've never even heard about the movie before. And I usually don't watch previews on... Uh, 
I just usually fast forward and whatever. But man, dude, Blu-ray DVD players, man, what the fuck? They make you watch some of that bullshit. I just want to go to the main menu and go to the fucking movie. I don't want to see a preview of some fucking movie, a fucking horse movie. I don't know what the fuck was some goddamn horse movie. I don't want to see that shit. I want to see the fucking movie that I wanted to watch. I read it. That's what I want to watch. I don't want to watch this. You know? So is there to future DVD players, whatever, Blu-ray, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Remember that one movie? What was it? He's like, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Castaway. That was what I'm talking about. Whatever. I ain't going in there. Whatever. Castaway. That was a good movie too, by the way. 